Hello, my beautiful people. Um, welcome to today's uh, flow. Uh, today I am shooting this flow in my new apartment in Munich. And um, um, look at this sun coming in through this window. And my first week here in Munich um, in the early May it was like winter. It was so cold and rainy and just like deep winter. And uh, now we finally have the summer here in Munich, and I love it. Um, so I hope you enjoy uh, this flow with me in this beautiful weather here. And uh, today the flow is a, um, is kind of a flow for mornings, but of course you can also have it in the early afternoon, and in the mid-afternoon, or even early evening. Uh, to just move out your body and get some stretches and get some flows and get some energies and uh, it's fun and it's playful and I hope you guys enjoy this flow with me and um, all right so let's uh, start from the back of our mat in child's pose you can keep your knees wide or close at your own choice and let's just all start in child's pose and um, your, your arms can be extended out in front of you or um, just wrap around your uh, shins or your feet at your own choice and let's stay here for five connective breaths just to um, get yourself in the mood to start today's flow and get your body ready. Slowly shift your weight to front and let's go into a downward facing dog pose right away from here bring our hips up towards the ceilings and stretch out the hamstrings in the glutes extend your shoulders and try to reach try to reach your chest towards your sides feel the extension on the back lines of your body don't put too much weight on your arms on your hands just feel like somebody is pulling your hips up towards the sky stay here for another two rounds of deep breath All right, from here, let's raise our right leg to the sky, three-legged dog pose. Stay here, inhale, exhale. Bring the foot in between your two hands and back knee down, coming into this low lunge pose. Lift your upper body up and you can place your hands on, on top of your knees and stretch out the uh, left groins but make sure your right knee don't go over your right foot chest up shoulders back and just take two rounds of deep breaths throughout your chest And from here, let's raise our arms up and lift the back knee up off the floor and come into this high lunge pose. Stay here for one connective breath. Shoulders down your ears, chest up, and let's come into warrior two pose. From here, right away, come into reverse warrior. So your right knee don't go over your right foot and your left hand touching your left calf or left side and stretch out the entire right side of the um, 
side spine. You can even just touch your uh, your belly or your right side with your left hand. Chest open to the sky. And take big inhale, exhale, uh, straighten your upper body and your right leg and go over a little inch and just come down to touch your right hand to your right shin. Lift your right hand upwards to the sky, gaze up, follows the right, the left hand or gaze forward or gaze down at your own, cho at your own choice. But make sure that your uh, body is in line with your hips and with your, uh, with your right leg. Chest up. And from here, let's take a big breath in and revolve your hand, left hand all the way to the um, front, left front point of your mat and your right hand to the right front side of your mat. Keep your right knee extended. You can have a micro bend at your right knee. And take a big inhale, straighten up your body, exhale, fold forward to your right knee. And from here, let's uh, move out the body, like uh, let's flow out the body a little bit. Take inhale, bend the right knee, Bend the right knee, inhale, and exhale, bend the left knee, extend the right. Just like this, inhale, front, bend the right knee, exhale, bend the left back, and straighten the right. Three times more at your own pace. All right, from here, let's bend the right knee and um, move your body to the left, uh, to the point to the left side. Keep your legs in the same position and just stretch forward to the left, uh, left front side of your room. Keep your body straightened up and let's just move like water flow. Straighten your body and look up and exhale, move down. Your head also follows. And from here, let's slowly um, shift your right leg inwards and uh, keep it parallel to the short edge of the mat and uh, come into a wide leg forward fold. Your both feet um, uh, should be a little pointed a little inward and you bend at your hips. Try to reach your crown, your head into the ground. If you cannot touch the ground with your head, it's fine. If you can, try to reach it to the floor. Let your upper body go heavy and just feel like the, um, the earth is pulling you down. Make sure you bend at the hips. And from here, let's place the left hand in between our gaze and take a big inhale. Exhale, raise your right hand up to the, uh, to the ceiling. Gaze up. This spinal twist is really good for your spine, for your low back. And exhale down, change sides. Twist from the hip area. Exhale down. 
and let's slowly shift to the mm, to face the back side of our mat and right knee down and let's do it all over on the other side i'm sorry i just lost balance a little bit okay so now right knee down and uh, left uh, left knees bent and face the facing the back side of your room or your mat hands placed on top of the left knee and try to extend through the right groins you can feel the extension of your right hip socket uh, it's a great feeling actually and from here raise your arms up into low lunge and tuck your right toes and lift your right knee up come into this high lunge stay here for one breath and let's come into warrior two pose from here big breath reverse your warrior two stay here just feel the stretch on the left side and slowly lift up your whole body up and also straighten your left knee and come over to a extended triangle pose guys okay, follow your right hand if it's possible otherwise you can just look down to your at uh, your right uh, left foot and let's do it all over again to this side um, revolve your right arm to the mat and your left follow your legs in the same position let's take inhale bend over the right, uh, left knee chest up exhale extend four more times at your own pace last time keep the left knee bent and uh, you can bring your right foot a little bit closer and let's just shift the body to the right side coming into this warrior two pose with the legs and downward facing with the upper body let's just wave it out inhale up lift your upper body and exhale wave down four times more And slowly come into the center, come into wide leg mm, forward forward once again. Bring your head towards the floor. Your hands can be placed in between your legs in the middle or um, can hold the ankles, can hold each ankles. Let the head go heavy. You can swing from side to side just to release some neck tensions, some head stress. And from here, um, let's just um, um, face our whole entire chest to the left knee and hold with both arms, hold left ankle inhale up and exhale bring the chest close to the left knee inhale up and exhale switch sides coming to the right side And from here, let's all face the front side of our mat once again. And take a big inhale, exhale, bring the feet, um, both feet towards the front side of our mat and just come into this standing forward bend. Ragdoll your arms and just let your 
whole upper body hanging here. Micro bend at your both knees. If that feels more comfortable, you can keep the bend a little deeper. Just make sure you bend um, at your hips, not at your lower back. And from here, take a big breath in. Exhale, round yourself all the way up, little by little. Head comes at last. Mm. Shake your shoulders, shake your legs. Just release it all. All right, so from here, um, we are going to do a set of balancing um, poses. And it's gonna be fun. So, okay, from Tadasana, standing mountain pose, let's inhale, raise our arms up. Exhale, hands together at heart. Make one connection breath to our body with our mind. Inhale, um, bring the weight to the left leg and lift the right up and place it into the inner thigh. Um, place the foot, right foot, to press the inner thigh right above the knees. Don't press into the knees. Either right above the knee or beneath the knee. And your own uh, flexibility um, option. Let's come into this tree pose. Inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, a little side bend to the right. Keep your balance. Keep your eyes focused at one point and focus. If you fall out, you can come back in and from here, you can place your right arm, right hand um, on your inner right thigh just to give a counter opposition to each other to open up the right, uh, right knee. And from here, let's come into a figure four pose, standing figure four. Um, place your right foot on top of your left thigh above the right, above the left knee, and sit back with your glutes, with your hips pointing backwards and sit back. You can feel the, the stretch on the right outer edge of the right sides and the right glutes, and hands together at heart center. Stay here for two breaths. Keep balance. And from here, big breath in. Exhale, bring, twist to the left side with your body and bring your right elbow to touch the right foot, right sole. Keep the balance, I'm shaking. And slowly from here, touch the hand to the floor. You can keep the left knee bent even deeper. Just coming into this figure four, um, standing figure four uh, with uh, upper body forward fold. The stretch will go deeper in this position. And slowly slide down your right legs down through your left legs, just like a snake. And let's come into this forward fold Eagle pose, eagle pose, an eagle, po eagle pose variation. Slide the right foot down, and in the meantime, um, eagle your arms with the left, um, sorry, with the right arm underneath your left. Eagle arm pose. Stay here in this forward fold. Just feel your body is all shrinking like contracting your back is expanding is stretching and slowly stand up in the 
with eagle pose. When you totally stand up, you can either uh, eagle your legs, like a double fold your legs, like a full eagle pose, or you can keep standing with both feet on the floor at your own choice. I'm just going to go to the full eagle pose here and just feel the shoulders and the upper back totally expanded. And from here, take a big breath in and let's come into a warrior three pose with eagle arms. I know it's hard. The left leg is shaking a lot. Just extend it out with the right legs and from here release. Place the two hands on the floor and come into this standing split pose. Raise your um, right foot into the sky. And from here, let's flow it out once again. Take a big breath in, exhale. Um, Touch, touch the touch the chest, touch the nose or whatever. Just, just mm, bring yourself into a bow. Hold in and inhale, extend out. Exhale, touch the nose with your right knee. Inhale out. Inhale, extend. Exhale in. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, bring the right foot to meet with the left. And come into this forward fold once again. <sighs> Release. And take a big breath in. Slowly come into standing mountain pose once again. Okay, now let's bring it to the other side. Um, take a big breath in and uh, Bring the left knee up and put it into the right inner thigh. Mm. Coming into a tree pose on the right side. Stay firmly, place down through the floor with your right foot firmly into the ground. It's a little bit slippery, my pants. So just hold it and inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, come into a standing uh, side bend to the left side. You can place your left hand on the uh, left inner side to bring a little counterpose, counterpose effect to the opening. And from here, let's come into a standing figure four. Sit your right glute back. And bring the left foot on top of your right side, hands together at heart center. Take a big breath in and out. Big breath in and shift your body to the right. Bring your left elbow to touch the right sole, uh, left sole. Slowly from here, Place the hands on the floor, bend the right knee even deeper, just to hang in here. Feel the stretch of the right outer thigh and glutes. Slowly slide your left foot down to the ground. And bring your left arm underneath your right eagle arms pose. You can keep your eyes closed here just to focus. If not, if you lose the balance, just open your eyes, keep your eyes open. And slowly from here, let's come into standing eagle pose. With control, bring your legs into full eagle pose stance. And let's just stay here for two breaths. Focus. Oh, if you if you fall out, just go back in like me. And from here, let's come into a warrior three with eagle arms. And 
and release into standing split pose. Take a big breath in. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend, exhale, bring it in. Three times more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, bring it in. Inhale, exhale, left foot to meet the right. Standing forward for once again. Release everything. Shake, swing your body side to side. And now let's bring our feet wide, uh, as wide as the mat distance. And uh, point the toes slightly outwards. And let's sit back now into Malasana. Elbows and um, hands together and push the elbows to each, uh, each knee and keep them open. Sit up and tall and feel like your sit bones, sit bones are being pulled towards the ground and the crown of the head is being pulled towards the sky. Uh, here, slowly sit yourself down into the mat and let's come into a final last pose, which is a core pose, bold pose. Sit up and tall and lift your legs off the floor and your chest uh, open, widen your collarbones, shoulders back and uh, lift, lift up. You can keep your feet, uh, legs straight or bent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be bent today. <sighs> Stay here for three rounds of breaths. Hold it tight with your core and let's bring it in like a cosmic ball. Bring the knees in, bring everything and just chins toward the chest. Feel the neck expanded. You can shake your body a little bit left to right. And one big breath in. And out, release. Now let's come back into a seated pose, seated position to close, close today's practice. Let's sit in the center of our mat. I'm just gonna sit in the, in the sunshine. Um, sit up and tall, take a big breath in, raise our arms up, gaze up, extend, and exhale, hands together at heart center. Bowing towards the floor. And thank yourself for taking the time to, um, to make yourself more flexible, make your mind more flexible, and to join me on this mat in this flow. Thank yourself for making this effort to make your body feel more released and more um, flexible and more tensionless. And uh, I hope you like uh, today's flow, today's morning or early afternoon or early evening flow. And uh, I hope it does bring your body a little bit loose and also in the meantime, a little bit more energy. And uh, yeah, so um, I'll see you. Oh, by the way, I have my uh, online shop, which is my new online shop, Shopify. And it's called Vivi's Beauty Collection, and the, the download link, uh, the, the link is in my description. If you guys are interested, you can go visit my online store. In there, I'm selling all the products and stuff that I personally purchased and bought and used, and with good experiences such as this yoga mat. And um, yeah, also some of my outfits. I will keep updating my product catalogs to reach my product ranges. But for now, I have 
only a few products there and if you are interested you can um, go there and visit and buy some of the products just to support me thank you very much and i will see you in the next flow here from munich bye bye